Introduction to DBMS and SQL Hello, in this video we are going to learn DBMS fundamentals and some basic SQL commands. I will talk about what is a database, what is a RDBMS, RDBMS terminology, database normalization, role of SQL and categories of SQL commands with examples. I hope you will learn something new in this video. Let's get started. If you want to master DBMS and SQL then click subscribe and the bell icon and let's do this together. What is a database? A database is an organized collection of data that is managed and accessed using software. The goal of a database is to provide an efficient way to store, retrieve and manipulate data. Databases can be used for a variety of purposes such as storing customer information, tracking inventory, or managing financial records. Databases can be of many types such as flat file databases for example CSV or TXT, Excel spreadsheets, relational databases, distributed databases, NoSQL databases, object oriented databases, etc. What is RDBMS? The concept of relational database management system was first described around 1970 by Dr. E. F. Codd in an IBM research publication called System R4 Relational. These are the most common types of databases and are used in a wide range of applications. In a relational database, data is stored in linked two-dimensional tables which are made up of rows and columns. The columns represent the attributes or fields of the data and the rows represent the individual records or tuples. A user can draw relationships between multiple tables and present the output as a table again. A user of a relational database need not understand the representation of data in order to retrieve it. Relational databases use SQL to access and manipulate the data. There are many RDBMS programs available, both open source and proprietary including MySQL, Oracle Database, SQL Server, PostgreSQL or Postgres, SQLite, IBM DB2, MariaDB, etc. RDBMS Terminology RDBMS stores data in tables consisting of rows and columns and enforces relationships between these tables using keys. Let's briefly discuss about RDBMS terminologies. Understanding these terms is essential for working with relational databases and writing effective SQL queries. Table a table is a collection of related data that is organized into rows and columns. Each row represents a single record or tuple and each column represents a single attribute or field of the table. Column A column or attribute or field is a vertical entity in a table that contains all information associated with a specific field in a table. Row A row or tuple or entry or record is a horizontal set of data within a table that represents a single record. Primary key A primary key is a unique identifier for a record in a table. A key value cannot occur twice in one table. It is used to enforce referential integrity between tables and to ensure that each record is uniquely identified. Foreign key A foreign key is a field in one table that refers to the primary key of another table. It is used to enforce referential integrity between tables and to establish relationships between tables. Index An index is a data structure used to improve the performance of queries by providing a quick access path to the data in table. View A view is a virtual table that is based on the result of a SQL query. Views are used to simplify the complexity of data by hiding the underlying structure of tables. Transaction A transaction is a sequence of operations that are executed as a single unit of work. Transactions are used to ensure the consistency and integrity of data in a database. What is Database Normalization? Normalization is the process where a database is designed in a way that removes redundancies and increases the clarity in organizing data in a database. So the goal of normalization is to eliminate data anomalies that can occur when data is duplicated or when relationships between tables are not properly defined. 
Normalization of a database helps in modifying the design at later times and helps in being prepared if a change is required in the database design. Normalization raises the efficiency of the database in terms of management, data storage and scalability. Now normalization of a database is achieved by following a set of rules called forms in creating the database. The most commonly used normal forms are first normal form or 1NF, second normal form or 2NF and third normal form or 3NF. 1NF In 1NF, each table has a primary key and all data is stored in atomic values. This means that each cell in the table should contain only a single value rather than multiple values that are not related. 2NF In 2NF, each non-primary key attribute is fully dependent on the primary key. This means that any attribute that is not part of the primary key should be dependent on the entire key rather than only part of it. 3NF In 3NF, each non-primary key attribute is not transitively dependent on the primary key. This means that any attribute that is not part of the primary key should not be dependent on any other non-primary key attribute. If such an entity exists, move it outside into a new table. Now, if this 3NF is achieved, the database is considered normalized. What is SQL? In 1970s, IBM researchers created a simple non-procedural language called Structured English Query Language or SQL. This was based on Dr. E. F. Codd's design of a relational model for data storage where he described a universal programming language for accessing databases. In the late 80s, ANSI and ISO, the two organizations dealing with standards for a wide variety of things, came out with a standardized version called Structured Query Language or SQL. There have been several versions of SQL and the latest version is SQL 2016. However, most database management systems do not fully support all of its features yet. Additionally, various database vendors also have their own proprietary extensions and features that are not part of the standard SQL language. It is important to check the documentation of the specific database management system that you are working with to understand which SQL features and syntax are supported. SQL is the language used to query almost all databases. It's simple to learn and appears to do very little but is the heart of a successful database application. Understanding SQL and using it efficiently is essential in designing an efficient database application. The better your understanding of SQL, the more versatile you will be in getting information out of databases. What can SQL do? It can execute queries against a database, retrieve data from a database, insert record in a database, update records in a database, delete records from a database, create new databases, create new tables in a database, create stored procedures in a database, create views in a database, set permissions on tables, procedures, views, etc. Categories of SQL commands SQL commands can be divided into following five categories. Data definition language or DDL. DDL commands are used to create, modify and delete database objects such as tables, views and indexes. Some common DDL commands include create table, alter table and drop table. For example, data manipulation language or DML. DML commands are used to insert, update and delete data in a database. Some common DML commands include insert, update and delete. For example, Data Query Language or DQL. DQL commands are used to retrieve data from a database. The most common DQL commands is SELECT. For example, Data Control Language or DCL. DCL commands in SQL are used to control access to a database and its objects 
and to maintain the security and integrity of the data. The most common DCL commands are grant and revoke. For example, transaction control language or TCL. TCL commands are used to manage transactions in a database. The transactions are used to ensure that a group of database operations are performed as a single unit of work. Some common TCL commands include commit, rollback and save point. For example, If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.